Hamburger SV are the Bundesliga's only permanent fixture, having featured in every campaign since 1963. That's plenty of time to score some cracking goals, and we've picked out the top 10. Up first is South Korean superstar Hung Min Son from Hartsfeld's shock win in Dortmund during the 2012-13 campaign. Again, Son sidestepping his man. We've got Van der Vaart in the centre as well, and Rudnefs. Oh, and what a goal! What a brilliant strike from the South Korean maestro! Hyung Min Son, that was a beauty! It took a knock off the post to let it go in at the end of the day, but everybody completely baffled here. Ball from Bruma. Son gets a better of Matt Hommels. Sidesteps Bender, and then with a little turn, that was just enough to get the left boot and the ball towards that far corner post. Goal number nine is a peach from Dutchman Raphael van der Vaart. He's gone for the shot. Oh, van der Vaart's back! That's quality, that's class, and that's 1-0 for the visitors. After nearly giving away a goal at the other end. The long ball, the nod on. And the extremely well-fired shot. Heiko Vesterman nodding it on. And the left foot of Van der Vaart. Smacks the ball past Ter Stegen. And Van der Vaart's got his first goal back in the Bundesliga. Next up, we've got Sergei Barbarez in his first season with Haasfau in the 2000-2001 campaign. But then Bosnia Herzegovina International fires home in his own unique way. He spent six years at Hamburg, scoring 65 goals in 174 Bundesliga games. Heiko Vesterman's goal from last season is number seven. He doesn't score often, but when he does, boy howdy. Chance for Hamburg, and Vesterman scores! Heiko Vesterman with a goal from nowhere. The big defender hammers the ball into the back of the net. What an amazing goal that was. Dietmeier plays the ball in, and there is Vesterman. Unstoppable for any keeper in the world, that effort. Number six is a beauty, scored in 1984 by a highest foul icon, Felix Magat. The current Fulham coach spent his entire Bundesliga playing career at Hamburg, that's ten years in total, and will live long in the fans' memories for goals like this. Halfway there, and the talented Raphael van der Vaart is back again. Oh, what a goal! What an absolutely sensational goal! Oh, Raphael van der Vaart! Can you believe it? The missile, not even the great Oliver Kahn could get anywhere near that one. Out of the blue, one all In slow motion, but who was marking him? Teasing up beautifully for himself. But the quality of the shot notwithstanding, nothing but Khan could do about it. Who was responsible for picking up Raphael van der Vaart? Pay attention to this one. Always known for his jokes on and off the field, Roy Prager fires himself into fourth spot with a wonder goal. He became a fan favourite in the Bundesliga thanks to his cheeky style and goals at both Hartersfau and Falco Wolfsburg. And this stupendous overhead kick is right up there. We go
go back to the 1967-68 season for this one. Get Charlie Durfel, a legendary left winger at Hamburg, chips in with a spectacular strike. This corker made it 4-1 to Heisfau against Werder Bremen in the 88th minute of the Northern Derby. And there was no holding back the fans. Incredible scenes. Here's another mind-blowing goal. Akan Shalanoglu pulled off this piece of genius last season. Oh, can you believe that? Is that the icing on the cake or what? What a goal! What an absolute missile! A wry smile on the face of Jurgen Klopp. But what a thunderbolt! Where did Chalalonu pull that one from? Look how far out he is. The ball, my goodness, who'd be a goalkeeper? Look at the way the ball waved and ducked and bobbed in midair. Completely bamboozled. Even a goalkeeper as experienced as Roman Vinen followed. That is going to be one of the candidates of goal of the year. Mirko Slomka cannot believe it. Now a top Haasfau Bundesliga goal also comes from the top Haasfau player of all time. Uwe Zähler netted this truly wonderful goal in 1971. He only ever played for what he called his Haasfau and scored an astonishing 137 goals in 239 Bundesliga games. Hats off to Mr. Uwe Zähler.